This is going to what's good for the bee, what's good for the bee, what's good for the bee. This is gonna be a quick little video. About a uh, video, okay? Quick little video. Um, I still got two more videos. I have, yeah, I got two more videos plus this girl video. I need to get in contact with her. I know that. This video is so quick, okay? Um, when I went to the office, like, I went to the office, and they went through my bank statement, and they asked me about my cash app and prepaid card. She got to tell me, what is the cash app? What is this? What is that? I don't use, but I'm waiting for them to refund my money back or whatever. But I tell them a cash app is for, like, when you send people money or whatever. Well, man, we got to get a picture of that. She took a picture of my um cash app card. And a visa number. And wanted me to cut around the county and all that. The uh, county number, the route number, and everything. Asking for bank statements for all that. I don't have. I don't get or whatever. So, cut to the chase or whatever. So, she took a picture of all that. Try to embarrass me and foes me or whatever. Um... She asked me, can I cut it out? I said, yeah. I cut it out. She wanted me to send her an email, but she wouldn't give me my email. I had to cut it like two or three times. Then she got asked me, can she go through my phone to the album, to my picture album? I looked at her crazy. Then when I actually gave her my phone so she could put the email in, she was like, oh, I hope you know, some people be ugly on Yahoo or whatever like that. And I'm looking like, what's she trying to say? No, I was just up, whatever, hair down, eyelashes and everything, even though, like, I was still under the weather, whatever. But, yeah, it was my first time seeing her from January to March. That's the same lady who put her dirty-ass finger in my fucking face. Second of all, who you calling people ugly? I'm about to speak, I'm going to speak up on people. I don't know what people she talking about calling ugly, whatever. But in the beginning, she was trying to be nice to me. In the beginning, I guess, I guess she felt something very prepared for you in my face, like, boo. Anyway, cut to the shape. Her wig that she had on be ate the fuck out. Two the fuck out on one side. Like, <laughs> like, ate out. Like, what the hell? Then the sweater is broke or ripped and it's attached to her purse. I know I shouldn't be talking about the people, but I know people be going through stuff. But I'm looking at the fact like, you can't talk your damn self. Look at you and everything. I know my, I know she came in my apartment and everything and searched and big knows to the same lady who read my letter off my dresser and everything. I didn't ask her or whatever. Like, bro, I just went back to my apartment. It takes time. To get stuff where you want, even though you got to start over again. It doesn't matter to take two or three months, maybe five months longer than that. Because bills be piling up on bills. And after you get rid of one bill or two bills, you got another bill. I'm still trying to make it happen in your own place. You know how to feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. I'm living an uncomfortable life. Like... I'm living an uncomfortable life living here. Like, I just ready for God just to call me now. Just come take me now because I am so uncomfortable living here. Like, I know you're like, why don't you just pack up and move? Yeah, it's been chaos. It's been hard, okay? It's been hard for me. I've been calling different places, looking for one bedroom. It's so hard, like... I just want to give up. And then what made me so mad because the apartments I did apply for, I called them back. Now the different story. Oh, um, the manager don't work here no more. Oh, um, do you know which one you apply for or whatever? And I'm telling they say, oh, well, um, you got to call the number. I'm like, what's the number? They didn't want to give me the number. Then two, I said, okay, what you mean you got to apply with? To my, I got to do the whole application over again. What the fuck? I'm not. If I do that one over again, I might have the same the same shit with what you just said because you could be new and tell me when I, when I call back again, it probably be a whole totally different story. It probably be the same story with a whole nother manager. Like, 
I'm saying to the Lord, it just like, I don't know. But I need help right now because I can't figure out where to get another cash out card. That's a damn sight. Then she took a picture of my prepaid card too. And she wanted the, the routing number and account number. She got to write the bank statements for that. I don't, I don't have bank statements for that. Like, uh, uh like, then she gonna ask me about a saving accounts or whatever. A checking account. I don't, I mean, a saving account. I don't have a saving accounts right now. I don't have a saving account. She's like, don't lie. This and that. Don't lie. You know, because I ain't going to get you none. And everybody got a saving account. I don't know, y'all. I'm just feel like she's too much of my personal business right now. And I ain't that, that's crossed the line taking a picture of someone's bank card and CVS. And then you got to cut the cap and all that and send it to the email. That's too much. But comment down below if someone got a cash app. And like, my Facebook page is Stephanie Ware. My email is Stephanie Ware369 at Yahoo.com. Because I forgot. I had to get a cash out card and an, another card, but I just have to come on here because I just feel some type of way. I feel like I want to cry, but it's like crying ain't going to do nothing. And then, like, I know how my attitude, because my attitude was about to snap, and I would change it to something like, I feel like they were trying to get me out of my character a little bit, and I was trying to hold, hold back so much to get my head sky high. Like, y'all really trying to get over me and asking me other stuff or stupid questions. And trying to, like, it's so much for down that I can say, but I said I didn't want to have a long video. Trying to embarrass me and make me feel some type of way around other people. There. I don't know. It's so much I'm going to say, but I'm going to just leave it right here because I forgot. And I feel like that's your privacy of taking someone picture of their car number and a CVS number and the last four digits of the number two. I just feel like that's your personal privacy. Like, I'm just going to... Oh. Uh, I'm having a, I'm having a bad breath over here. Like I'm really is. Like I don't want to be here no more. It just makes me just don't want to be in this world no more. Like, and then on top of that, I'm walking out. Like two people came in from California, whatever, and she was like, "Oh, everybody from Houston." I'm like, "That crazy." Like I'm, I'm from California. Like anyway, when I get ready to leave out, it was a girl that was outside. So when I'm walking past her, she was like, "Uh, uh." She on the phone said, "Uh, uh." I can't be around bad people a bad negative vibe and this and that i'm trying to get stay close to god and and keep prayers and have my prayers to to move over here or whatever this is when i walk past her so you know they say people judge people for who they are but it's what it is that's how she feel that's how that girl felt at the end of the day no telling when i left because i did kind of close i said watch they be talking i said that low Cause when you leave out the office, they be talking shit about you. Like shit to talk shit about you to a person that you don't even know. But while they talking shit about you to another person, that person getting all the notes and details about you. Yeah, they, they be running shady games up there. They be talking about one another who work, work in the office too until they used to come in my, ho my house talking shit about one manager and then the other manager. Now she know they bad. <laughs> it's funny. They be talking about when they be fighting in the office. But what you mean, like, y'all don't know my character or my genes. You could judge me all you want by the book. You only said you had to get to know me. Just like one of the manager, I was like, cool, man. I was texting her off and on. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. How you doing? This and that. And da -da -da -da. All of a sudden, last month, no, January. My last search was in January. Ever since then, I haven't heard back from this manager for two or three months now. And then kind of find out she's even the offer. She want a low-key way back me. Like, 
Keep doing what you're doing. Like, you've been ignoring me the whole time, time now. Because at first you wouldn't ignore me. But you're ignoring me now. And you want to do a side wave. Like, wave. Like, you did not have to wave. I just did a, a low-key wave. A low-key. Not no side wave. Just like a low-key. Like, because she did a side wave. I did a low-key wave. Like, I'm not bothered. <laughs> Shit. Because at the end of the day, they got mad because she had my number. And I bet after I left out the office, I bet you they was talking to her, putting words on her head, talking about you don't need to be social with her, or be friends, da, da 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 I bet you that's what they put in her head. Or, two, I bet you that they're like, okay, be friends with her, honey, get some information about her, and let us know what she be saying. It's not to find it's one of them two right there. One of them two, like, trying to get close to get some information. It's one of them two. That's why I wasn't really saying too much, though. But it's... it's what it is like that's how i don't trust none of the people who work here or whatever but i'm just so tired of working here it did i mean i'm tired of living here and then one girl she keeps shaking her head a lot who worked there like i don't know her but she kept mugging me and i kept mugging her a little bit and she like i would could the lady was telling me about her nails and everything i started telling her about mine she started shaking her like I don't even know the girl. She kept looking at me and then shaking her head. Like, what the fuck are you shaking your head for? Like, I just be want to come out and say stuff. Like, I want to snap so bad at these people. But it's funny, but then it's not because it's so annoying. And I feel like they be trying to get on my back. So I feel like they're trying to see the real me or something. It just, just don't fit right in my shoes. Like, what the heck? But they too busy over here running about some goddamn coffee. My head hurt. That's why I been. This is why I been in and out the hospital because of, because of the like in and out the hospital and in the water over here. And then it just it's just too much. It's too much. I can't do it. But I'm about to end this video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and then. Um, like I say, get at me on Facebook or, or Yahoo. Face is Stephanie Ware, Yahoo. Stephanie Ware, 369 at Yahoo.com. Because I'm trying to change my freaking cash out part, uh, like, for real, for real. I forgot how to go. Oh, yeah, I could look it up on YouTube. I forgot about that. That's what I might do. I don't know. And I need to change my prepaid card to get another. I need to get two whole sets of new cards. But, yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. Got to, no, I got three more videos upcoming soon.